Welcome back to Skill Guided, the series where our account progress is locked to the skill guide. In order to level up a skill, we must complete the most recent skilling unlock. We can't complete a quest if the XP reward skips an unlock, with our first major goal being the Ardoin Easy Diary. Our last hurdle for the Ardoin Easy Diary is the completion of the Biohazard quest. As the Biohazard quest gives thieving XP, we need to hit 16 thieving before we won't skip an unlock. Our last skilling unlock required is the stealing of cowbells, which require the partial completion of the Cold War quest. And in the last episode, we took on our final two requirements, 34 construction and 30 crafting. And you better believe we knocked out 34 construction and 30 crafting in the last episode. So today we are finishing the Arduin Easy Diary. G'day, g'day, and welcome back to Skill Guided. We are about to start the Cold War quest. We finally have all of the requirements to start it. This has been a long time coming. Our next goal, I'd love to keep going with the Easy Diaries, but we've got a long list of unlocks that we've had to skip on our journey so far. But if you have a goal in mind that you would like me to go for next, maybe it's a particular diary, maybe it's a quest milestone, maybe it's an item or a boss, or maybe it's a skill in particular you wanna see me train, let me know down in the comments. I'd love for it to be community driven. Love to get everyone's feedback. I love reading all the comments. I always reply basically to every single one. Comment down below once you've watched the episode. Because today, yep, I'm going to progress with the Arduin Easy Diary. Then I'm going to start a couple of the other easy ones. But yeah, where we go from there, who knows? This has been a pretty chaotic series up until now, even though we've had our clear goal. But I'm so excited for the next chapter. And I'm finally excited to have a cape on our back. One that we can always wear. We're wearing our classic angler outfit, but where is our cape? Let's get a cape this episode. I'm hoping that I can just talk to Larry here. Do you need any help? I'm looking for a quest. Oh, yes, we're starting it, baby. I think you can be trusted. What do you know about penguins? Oh, we know all about penguins, baby. We've been getting ready for this for ages. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Start the Cold War quest. Yes! Oh, so good. Okay. Yep, all right. If people are keen in the future to see sort of in-depth quest, you know, looking, reading through the dialogue, really following along with the story. Let me know. With the Cold War quest, I'm not even going to finish it right now. I'm going to finish talking to Larry because we need to gather materials for a bird hide and he's going to range our transport uh, to infiltrate some penguin lair, right? So he gives us a little list of stuff to do and he wants us to meet him up near Keldegrim. And we've started a new quest, Cold War. Let's just, yeah, no time to mess around. I'm going to Lumbridge and I'm going to try and steal a cowbell. I've tried this before and it said we need to start Cold War. Can we just do it now? This is a massive moment for me. Yes! Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's been so long coming to steal that cowbell. Holy shit. 16 thieving. That is bloody awesome. Okay, and if anyone can remember a long time ago, we were training thieving, I think in episode 2, on this door here and on this chest. This door here can only be opened at level 16 thieving. So we are picking the lock now. We don't need a lock pick to do this. We fail. Keep an eye on the chat box there. Nah. Nah. There we go. 15 thieving XP. So that is a level 16 unlock. It's all good. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, now we're doing the biohazard quest. There we go. We throw in the bird feed on there. And then we can open the pigeon cage. Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're in. We've traded our angler hat for a gas mask, but we are in. Oh, get shit on. Give me that mourner key. Dun dun dun! There is no plague. Someone's been lying about all of it. Well, we better go tell Eleanor about that. There's no plague! We're about to uncover something huge. Yep, we'll go talk to the king. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Hello, King Lathus, you wanker. Tell me about the hoax that is the plague. Yeah, lie to your people, did ya? Yep. You are a freak. No, not listen to you. You're a liar. A liar. Oh, yes! We've completed Biohazard, baby! <laughs> 1250 thieving XP, three quest points is nice, full West Arty access, but combat training camp access is actually what I care about because that's what we need for the diary. And that's now 19 thieving, excellent. No unlock, didn't skip any unlocks. So next unlock is at 20 thieving. Yes! 
Here it is. This is it. I think all we have to do is walk through this gate. Is that all we have to do? Please. Yes! Yes! You completed all the easy tasks in the Ardoin area. Yes! Speak to the best NPC in the game. Two pints of the Flying Horse Inn. Oh, please. I've completed all the easy tasks in my Ardoin achievement diary. Well done. We will be wanting a reward. Oh, Ardoin Cloak 1. And now we can trade in cats for 200 death runes. 10% better chance for thieving from stalls. Something about the Tower of Life. And the cape. Oh, yes. All right. I want... I'm going to ask for multiple capes. Finally, we have it. Oh, yes, baby. Woohoo! I am so, so happy about this. Holy shit. Like the video if you've enjoyed the series so far. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because this is the next chapter of Skill Guided. And how could I forget we have an antique lamp that gives us 2,500 XP in any skill over 30. Uh, might regret this in the future, but we're just going to use all our lamps on prayer, I think. Because we're not going to do wise old man tasks forever just to train prayer. We've got our protection prayers and this will save us training in the future. 2,500 prayer XP. Love that. Alrighty, we have got a pretty busy inventory. The astute viewers will already be able to tell what we've got planned. But I have been doing a lot of planning. I've been wanting to start playing. When we went and got our beautiful Ardoin cloak, I was like, yeah, the other diaries are just going to go knock them out. Not a lot of the diaries have these requirements, but in the way of getting this diary, the Ardoin diary, we've had to do a lot of stuff. Like our skills, yeah, we've got over 500 total level now, and we've had to go through a lot of unlocks. And we've actually had to skip some unlocks as well. And so I can't really say, oh, well, yeah, let's go move on to the next diary and set our next big goal. If we don't do a bit of backtracking and tick off things that we've missed. And I think that's really important for us. Um, that's the whole nature of the series. So I've got a distinct order of operations. Some would call it a master plan, but we've heard that phrase before, I'm sure. So I'm going to stick with order of operations. It's on a needs no basis. We're going to set goals on it one by one and catch up on some of the unlocks that we have missed. Yeah, I'll look you in the eyes to tell you about this one. I've even taken my hat off. Our future goal going forward, major goal. One of the things that we've had to miss and skip unlocks because of this thieving grind and the Ardoin cloak grind is getting to Fossil Island. So our next major goal is the completion of the Bone Voyage quest and the reaching of Fossil Island. For that, we're going to need the Dig Site quest as well as 100 Museum Kudos. And I'm not letting myself progress to that without doing a lot of catch up. We're going to be doing some catch up on the unlocks that we've missed. More will become clear as we progress, but let's get straight into doing something because I'm just keen. And out of all the stuff that's in my inventory right now, I bet no one can guess what we're about to go do first. That's right, we're here to do the Sorceress Garden mini game. Bet you didn't see that coming. And there we go, now we're in the Sorceress Garden. And this is why we've come because at level one, we could do the Winter Sorceress Garden. And so, we're finally here to do it. We can finally get the XP. No guide needed, I'm just gonna, oh. Oh, oh no, am I cracked? Oh, I'm pretty cracked. Yep, oh my god. Have I done this first go? No, I haven't, no I haven't, no I haven't. Run. Oh my god, I have done it first go. Oh, I'm cracked. Oh, I'm the best. In the world, there's 30 farming XP as well, and our first winter squirk. But we're here to get thieving XP from it, and we need five squirks to do that. Alright, here we go. So now we have five squirks, a beer glass, and a pestle and mortar. So I think we do this. Yes! Oh, that gives cooking XP as well. Yeah, right. Um, luckily, we've got plenty to work with, although we are in a tricky situation with cooking, which will come up later uh, in our little order of operations here. But let's take this Winter Squirk Juice and give it to Osman, I think, and he gives us some Thieving XP. 
There we go, 350. That's a huge amount of XP. No worries, champion. And there we go, 20 thieving. You can now steal from silk stalls and pick locks on Zoga coffins at Jigig. Yeah, right, well, that may come in handy later on. Oh, hey, I just uh, came here to get some iron for perhaps a quest that we're doing, or will do very soon. And that was an easy task in the Lumbridge area. I literally, on the way up here, looked at the Desert Diary, because I was like, oh, this might be a task. And I was like, oh, no, it's not a task. But apparently, our career mine is Lumbridge, so there we go. <laughs> now, there's no reason in our order of operations we can't get some easy diaries done. And you mean to tell me that all the time I spent at Motherload Mine, I never did this? And hammered the broken strut? <laughs> well, there we go. Now we've completed an easy task in the Falador area. Alright, everyone probably guessed this was coming. Hello, Squire. What have you done? Oh, you've lost the sword. Oh no, we can make you a new sword, mate. And starting the Knight Sword Quest. This is pivotal that we do the Knight Sword Quest now in our timeline. We have the XP to work with and we're not skipping any unlocks. Hello there, champion. Would you like a red berry pie? <laughs> oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, mate. We now have a blue right sword. Maybe we should tell him that we've met another Encamdo dwarf. I very much doubt that. I'm the last Encamdo dwarf left in Gillenor. Nah, champ. There was some under Ice Mountain. Oh, cute. Now he's going to go visit Romano and Cam Dozel sometime. Oh, we've just changed this guy's life, eh? Hey? Look at him watching us as we leave. Oh, now he goes back inside. What a legend. We've actually updated this guy to talk about Jagex account. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, yep. Thanks, mate. Stay safe. Easy task in the Falador area. Love that. Take your shitty book. I don't want it. Oh, dear lord. I just made a clip and I didn't click record. Shit. Uh, well, we got 21 farming because I harvested some onions, and we unlocked our next farming unlock, which is Crandorian hops. So we'll plant those next time we're over near the hops patch. All right, before we hand in this sword to the squire, it is technically a level one unlock for attack. We still have a little bit of attack XP before we hit the dreaded level 31, and this stupid imp is running away from me. Sa, Die, imp. Oh no, I knew it would teleport away. Let's get there. There we go. So we can say we got a kill with our blue right sword. Oh, look at that. And an insult. Imp head. That's kind of cute. Oh, the red bead. <laughs> we don't need beads right now. All right, we've had our fun with the blue right sword. We can use our other weapon to kill some imps in the future. We've retrieved the sword for you, mate. There you are. And there is our absolutely... Massive drop of smithing XP. Holy shit, 12,725. We could have... Imagine if we just did this like every other account and skipped all of that early smithing with this. But no, we, we did it right, baby. We did it right. We got to 42 smithing and now we've boosted up to 44. Not skipped an unlock that is available to us. And now we can make steel two-handed swords before we hit level 45. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. Okay, I'm very happy about that. Because now we can go back and do an unlock that we missed when it came to smithing. That is blue right. Blue right crossbow bolts and blue right crossbow limbs. I guess smelting the bar is technically an unlock as well. So here is our beautiful blue right bar. Oh, I brought extra iron bars for the sword, but I don't even we don't need the sword. We're all good. Alright, Doric. Fun fact, this is my group Iron Man partner, Midi's favourite quest. And unbelievable scenes. I, you know, let's really dive into the lore here. G'day, Doric. You know, we've found him in his little hut just north of Falador. We want to use your anvils. My anvils get enough work with my own use. I make pickaxes. It takes a lot of hard work. But if you could get me some more materials, then I could let you use them. Let's start Doric's quest. Yeah, so we'll get you the materials. Clay is what I use more than anything to make casts. Could you get me six clay, four copper ore, two iron ore, please? I could pay a little and let you use me anvils. Take this pickaxe with you in case you need it. Ah, we've got a rune one, champion. You know, it's funny you should require those exact things. What do you mean? I can usually fit 28 things in my backpack, and in a world full of quite literally limitless possibilities, a complete coincidence has occurred. 
I don't quite understand what you're saying. Well, out of pure coincidence, despite definitely not knowing what you're about to request, I just so happen to have carried those exact items. In fact, in the exact quantities too. Oh my, that is a coincidence. Pass them here then, please. I can spare you some coins for your trouble, and please use my anvils anytime you want. We hand over the stuff. Unbelievable. That was action-packed. Law, gathering, giving, speaking, boss fights. Oh, insane. Skill level, massive. 1300 mining XP, one quest point, a little bit of coins for our trouble, and now we can use the anvils. Nice, but there's Doric's quest completed. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. And now we can do... No, we don't care about the iron bars. Blue right bar, here we go. We are making blue right crossbow limbs. Yes, that is our easy task in the Falador area. Nice. Yep, we may as well just make our other... There we go. We also have crossbow bolts to make. So let's make some sets of blue right crossbow bolts. Beautiful. You'd think I'm going back now and completing our mist smithing unlock of the blue right limbs that we can progress with our range training. 16 ranged is what we stopped at last time, as 16 ranged is when we can use a blue right crossbow and use blue right bolts. However, something very important that I missed last episode when we were talking about this, is that to even make the crossbow in the first place, you need 24 fletching. Blue right slash oak crossbows after knight's sword. 24 fletching to make the crossbow. Okay, well, we'll just have to grind some fletching. There's nothing too sinister there, right? Wrong. The reason why we haven't progressed past five fletching are arrows. Arrows that aren't even on the skill guide, but are part of the big chompy bird hunting quest, which requires five fletching to make the ogre arrows that you use in the big chompy bird hunting quest. But in addition, the big chompy bird hunting quest requires 30 range to even start the quest. And so we cannot actually use our blue right crossbow until we hit 30 ranged. Because we can't progress with our fletching to actually make it until we start this quest and make our ogre arrows. Even if we were to skip the ogre arrows in our fletching, the next unlock our bronze brutal arrows. These require partial completion of the Zoga Flesh Eaters quest. And the Zoga Flesh Eaters quest requires big chompy bird hunting and 30 ranged. So, fletching is locked away from us until we have completed big chompy bird hunting. That is also the reason why we haven't been able to progress our magic. Because magic we are currently up to enchanting crossbow bolt. Where we need to enchant an opal bolt. But if we look at our fletching, we can't make opal bolts until level 11 fletching. So fletching is basically locking our magic away from us right now and our ranged. However, we see this cyclic behavior here with the ranged and the fletching. They're basically hard locking each other out. So therefore, I'm choosing to progress with ranged past 16 until we get a 30 range, then we'll be doing the big chompy bird hunting quest and partial completion of Zoga Flesh Eaters, so that way we can progress our fletching, make up for our ranged unlocks, and finally start magic. Hopefully that all makes sense, so we're going to put our limbs and our bolts in the bank for now, and we'll come back to those later. And this is why you may have noticed I've been carrying around an oak shortbow, as we are indeed going to continue our ranged grind. Up to 30 so we can do big chompy bird hunting. And it all starts with wielding our oak shortbow. And unfortunately we have to kill a wee duck. Because that is an easy task in the Falador area. Sorry duck, but you'll be okay. There we go, we only have two tasks left in Falador now. Get a haircut or a shave from the hairdresser, that's nice and easy. And make a mind tiara, which we can do. We just have to get a mind talisman drop from an imp. So let's use our ranged now to kill some imps and hopefully get that drop we're after. But first, let's get a bit of a... Hmm. I think our moustache is pretty pretty iconic for our character at this point. But maybe we get a wee haircut. 
Yeah, maybe let's just go a lighter shade of brown. In Australia here, we're in the last month of spring moving into summer, so maybe with the heat and with the bearing down sun, you know, maybe our hair goes a shade lighter. So let's just do that. There we go. A fresh new haircut. Love that for us. And that is too an easy task in the Falador area. Okay, and I didn't think we'd get a prayer level, but here we go. 44 prayer. We're now pray Eagle Eye. That is amazing. That'll actually come in handy. And now we've got our third red bead and our second black bead. Oh my god. And look at this. Eagle Eye Baby. 15% range increase. And we get two zeros in a row. But then a three. Hey, and there's a Ninja Rimpling. Too bad I can't capture that. Yes, we got it. The Mind Talisman. Oh, that took... How many did that take? Loot Tracker. 38 imps. About double the drop rate. But who am I to complain? We got what we needed. And now when we go for those beads, we only have one color remaining. The yellow one. So, good stuff. Good little loot there. One more imp for good measure because we have ranged XP. Hey, someone just finished Mark's friend. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> nice one. Woohoo. Nice one. And they leveled up wood cutting. And now we can burst some party balloons. Woohoo. While we're busy doing all our other stuff, we may as well plant our Crandorian seeds, our level 21 farming unlock. Excellent. And we can pay for those with some cabbages that I picked up. Just to make sure they don't die. Crandorian hops have grown because we protected them with our cabbages. There is our level 21 farming unlock. Oh, we're going to have to plant more Crandorian hops. Because they're used for brewing dragon bitter and... We need four of them, I'm pretty sure. Ah, alright. Well, after this barley grows, we'll plant some more Crandorian hops. Alrighty. Time to do some runecraft. We have our mind talisman from our imps straight into the mysterious ruins. Woohoo! We are in the mind altar. Looking suspiciously like the prison Pete random event. But alright, so what we actually need is the tiara in our inventory. So I brought an extra rune essence just to maximize that XP. And we use the tiara on the mind altar. There we go! Completed an easy task, and now we've completed all the easy tasks in the Falador area. Look, some of the diaries, yes, are going to take a lot of work, but this one flew by, baby. As I said, how good is that? Talk to Cerebral in Falador, and now we can wear our Mind Tiara to enter the altar whenever we want. That's looking pretty cute. And we don't have any further unlocks, so craft runes. Mind runes. Runecraft is level 3. Nice. I think our next unlock for Runecraft is level 5. So, alrighty. Sir Rebral, get it? We've completed all the easy tasks in our Falador Achievement Diary. Thank you. Oh, the little shield. It can restore one quarter of your prayer points once per day. That honestly isn't terrible. We might find, an act we might find a use for that. You can now access a shortcut to the Chaos Temple from Berthorpe. That's it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, give us another shield. We'll get a couple. I doubt we're ever going to lose them, but why not? We'll get around five of them. Perfect. Let's take a little look at that. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cute. I don't mind it. Yeah, not too shabby. Goes with our Arduin cloak. Let's rub our antique lamp. Let's just keep going prayer. 2,500 XP. Lovely. That's right. We're doing some Hunter. And who knows why? <laughs> nah, so I'm being proactive. I actually, for once, had a look at the things I was about to unlock. And getting on the ranged grind, I noticed that at 20, we need a coif. We need to craft that ourselves. And that requires a whopping 38 crafting. One of the things we need to craft along the way is spiked van braces. For spiked van braces, we need to catch a wild cabot. So we need 23 hunter. So here we are at 11 hunter, catching cerulean twitches. Fun times. And there's the first level of doing this. Oh my god, this is so slow. And thankfully that is our last bird, 13 hunter. We can now track desert devils, hence why I'm wearing desert clothes and have some water skins in the inventory. 
I just love... Maybe just deep down I want to play Ultimate Iron Man or something. I keep doing these things where I like stack the inventory. But I think that game mode would drive me insane. Alright, it was a while ago, but we have done some Hunter before with our Noose Wand. I think we just search the disturbed sand here. We find nothing. We inspect Cactus, perhaps, and we just wait and do all this until we find tracks, and then we follow the tracks, maybe? Sounds about right. Or do we start at the burrow, maybe? Yes, we do start at the burrow. Okay. Come on, put me out of my misery. Yes, 14 Hunter. We can now place oak birdhouse traps on Fossil Island. Oh yeah, I brought stuff to make one, but we've obviously already made it. Ah, you goose. People are probably screaming at me. Probably not, but... Ah, well. We can now place oak birdhouses, but we have no need to do that because we can't get to Fossil Island yet. That's what we're currently trying to do. I accidentally clicked on the cactus to fill one of my water skins, and that was an easy task in the diary. So, yep, another task being ticked off while we're just looking around. Oh my god, early hunter is so shit. But there's 15 hunter. Thank god we can get out of here. We can now catch ruby harvest butterflies, dig for sandworms, and catch prowl rats where we to go to raids. But that is the cursed exception for this account. Sandworms. Uh, we need Piscarillus favor for sandworms, if I'm not mistaken. Ruby Harvest Butterflies, we can sure go claim them. Alright, before we go repair some cranes, we have some Ruby Harvests. And come back, you little butterfly. Get in my net. Get in my net. Come on, get in my net! Oh my god! <laughs> Get in there! Yeah, we... There we go. Ah. Uh, Whee! Ah, oh, that is lovely. I just realised I paid 280 GP to get from Port Kazar to Port Sarim. No, my cash stack! Multiple birds with one stone here. We have 20.9% Piscarillus favour. We need 30% to hunt grubs on the beach. That will get us to our level 15. Hunter unlock, digging for sandworms. Our current crafting unlock is also 30 crafting repair Piscarillus crane. So let's do that. There we go, holy fuck. That took like, that took so long. Okay, well that's a medium task in the Karen and Kevos area, nice one. Um, yeah, holy shit, that was 0.5% Piscarillus favour, so pretty decent in terms of favour, not gonna lie, but Oh my god, that took ages. Okay. I guess we'll just repair a couple more because we've got... Yeah, we've finished all of our level 30 crafting unlocks, so we may as well just sit here now. Check out this absolute legend. Said he wants to donate to the cause. Oh wow, is he offering to give me a bond? That's amazing! Thank you so much! That is awesome. That's the first time this has ever happened. Thank you so much. Wicked Oss me. Mate, you are a legend. <laughs> He's got the sneak peek of the arty cloak. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll hide the Falador shield from them, but yeah. It's looking pretty good. That's awesome. I know people give bonds to people all the time, but that is, um, that is pretty special uh, to me. So thank you very much. You're a legend. Videos keep coming. Woo! There's 31 crafting, baby. This has taken a while. Craft emerald amulets. You better believe we'll be doing that in the future. Alrighty, here we are. They have updated this. I think. Either the HD client makes it look way better, or they've graphically updated this because this never used to look this clear. But at least I'm, I'm pretty certain. Um, and so basically this is what we do. We just click on the dig sandworm castings and There we go. We got one that now has bucket of sand one that is bucket of sand worms and We got some hunter XP that is our unlock beautiful 10 XP and we don't get um, Favor for just digging them up. We have to hand them into this store down here on the map to Tynan and he will give us the favor for that But let's just go through and do a full inventory see how many grubbies we can get and then trade them in. 
Okay, with full inventory, we talk to Tynan here and says, perfect, if he's still looking for work, he wants more grubbies. So we've got more buckets in the bank, we'll grab those. And we've gone up to 37.2 from that. Ooh, and there's 16 Hunter. Oh, I was about to say no unlock, and what is this shit? You can now craft trap disarmers with 15 wood cutting. Ah, forestry, we meet again. Forestry, trap disarmer. Uh, other. Trap disarmer with 15 wood cutting. Oh, Christ. Okay, what is this? Trap disarmer blueprint. This blueprint. Okay, 300 anima infused bark. And I've just emptied my forestry kit, and of course I don't have 300 bark, so I guess we're going to have to go and do some wood cutting. But I cannot, because I don't have a rune axe. Ah, <sighs> for God's sake. I still haven't done... Oh, I'm going to have to do padded spoon at 35 crafting as well. Yuck. Someone left a comment on the construction episode saying that forestry has turned this account into skill misguided, and I just want to... Oh my god, what a comment. Fuck forestry, man. Hey, they changed it. They changed this to the felling axe. They fixed it. <laughs> no, I wonder if... Ah, oh, I wouldn't have... I didn't even report it, so it wasn't me, but... Ah, oh. Well, at least I've got epis I've, At least I've got evidence that this was feeling axe at some point. <laughs> um, well... We're at 41 wood cutting, so we need a rune axe to progress. Our current unlock for trees is teak trees, I guess. So, yeah, we need the rune axe. Uh, but we also need an extra almost 100 bark. I could get that I could get that pretty quick if I do, like, a roots event or something like that. Um, maybe we can do that before we hit 42 wood cutting, and that would be allowed. But, I don't know, it's more likely that this is just getting skipped. Getting a rune axe at this level is kind of fucked. There's only one thing I can think of that we could try to maybe get the rune axe. And that is the thing I said I would try after the Ardoin Easy Diary, which is the hard clue scroll that's in our bank. So it looks like we're going to the Wilderness Agility course. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's go. Let's go try the hard clue scroll. Can't believe I'm doing this for a fucking forestry update. No, we need to try. We needed to try this hard clue anyway, regardless of forestry. I said I was going to try it. I said I was going to try it, and I, I got a bit excited and a bit distracted. But just when I think we're finished, you know, going to the deep wilderness, well, here we are again. And we're not going to hit 31 attack either. I calculated it out. Perfect. We did it. Nice. Next clue and bones and coins and cake. Yummy. All right, let's get out of the wilderness. And let's check our clue in case we die with it. And, oh no, not the Chaos Temple. Well, I'm glad I checked that out because there was someone there. <laughs> Shit, okay, this this probably isn't going to work. Love that for us. Okay, we got away. But, yeah, we don't even have enough attack XP now to take on another Zemrak wizard. I guess we could use ranged, but uh, it's not worth it. I'm not dying for the sake of a forestry unlock. There's no guarantee, obviously, we'd get a rune axe from this. And it's very unlikely that we'd be able to complete the hard clue. Um, but let me know down in the comments. Vote down below. Once we get, thir once we get 30 ranged and we have sort of an, a good enough chance to take out a Zamorak wizard with ranged, then I'll, uh, yeah, go back out of the wilderness and try and complete that step. As for now, yeah, I might be able to get an extra 100 or so bark. Um, yeah, without getting a level, without getting a woodcutting level. I guess I'll just go to a forestry world and try and find like a flowers or a roots or something event. Alright, we're not chopping shit, but we're hoping that there's some kind of forestry event that I can do that pops up. That will give me the bark I need. What is this? I think I'll put Entity Hider on so we can just see us resting by the fire. This is quite nice. This is nice. Too bad someone's ruining it with their... Someone's ruining it with their skull. But what are you going to do? What's that over there? An acorn! Oh, from last episode. Alright, what is this thing? Eggs? Oh, I've got an egg. What do you do with it? That gives thieving XP. 
Did I give any bark? Five bark. Right. Uh, okay, so apparently there's a pheasant tail costume that takes 60 pheasant tail feathers to obtain the full costume. God, why is there so much with forestry? Like, why is it so much stuff? They've completely... Alright, as long as we don't hit 42 woodcutting, we're all good. Like, I'm just gonna allow that just to get bark. Because we're gonna run into these stupid forestry unlocks at some point. Alright, there we go. We should definitely have enough bark now. 349, perfect. Okay. I love that. Yep. Alright, so we should be able to purchase. Here we go. A trap disarmer blueprint. 300 bark, 15 noted willow logs. And we use a bronze wire and a iron bar to make them. Alright, yep. Bye. There we go. Trap disarmer. That gave us 5 hunter XP, even though it's a smithing activity. And. I'm guessing you get Hunter XP for using them. Okay, this is it, I think. Disarm Foxtrap. I think this is it. Is this it? That is it, yes! That's done! That's so done! Nice! I am getting so lucky spotting these these big implings. Glime, you can take it, buddy. Nice one. Nice, simple, more money for the main. Now that one is worth a fair bit more. Then a ninja impling. That's 440k. That's in that is crazy. That's insane. All right. Well, yep. Yeah, I've got good impling luck on this account. This is this is a good sign for later on. No, no. I clicked off accidentally and missed the level up unlock. But look, we just hit 17 hunter, huge level. Because now we can go and catch our first implings. The account, baby implings. Here we go, let's see if we catch this one. Come on, get him a net. Yes, that's our baby impling caught, our first one caught. Very, very good. Here we go, and now there's this one. And we should be able to trade in any one of our jars for three more impling jars. And then we can expand our collection of jars from there. Just looking at what the baby implings draw. Hey, a ninja impling. Aw. Should get my main in here. And here's our first level of the little grind in here. 18 Hunter, nice one. I'm the best at finding Dragon Implings. Dead set, this account is so lucky at the Implings. Come on, main account, get in here. Yes, come on, get in here, this is mine. Give me this. Yes, easy money. <laughs> we just got 19 Hunter, fantastic. We're done with Puro Puro for now. Because now we can trap Tropical Wagtails, which we actually get our Rainbow Feathers from, which we're currently locked out of fishing from. So very big level here. Also very big, I've had Coffee Pizza reach out and say my accent is amazing. That's a lie. Uh, but yeah, really appreciate the message. Tell your viewers to dip a slice of pizza in their coffee for me. Alright, that didn't take long. Here's our first Tropical Wagtail. Yes, and fishing is back on the cards with our stripy feathers. That's great. Not that we need fishing right now, but once we get over to Fossil Island, we will eventually need to do drift net fishing. So therefore, yeah, we can do that when we get there. That's bloody awesome. Ooh, Hunter level 20, I was just going to skip over it and keep going because we didn't have an unlock, but that's a total level of 550. Alright, there's 22 Hunter. We can now go back to Pura Pura and catch young Implings. And it's only one level to go until our Wild Cabot's at 23, which we need their claws for to make our spiky van braces in the crafting grind. Okay, here we are back for young Impling. There we go, 22 XP. Let's loot seal. We get our first one. Bowstring, not bad. We can get clue scrolls from these things. It's not that frequent, so I'm probably just going to use them to trade in to get more jars. All right, should be the last one here. Yes. 23 Hunter. Nice. We can now trap wild kebbets. Awesome. And we got an easy clue scroll from our implings, so that's pretty cool. 128 XP. That's pretty nice. Okay, last trap. Thankfully, there we go. 24 Hunter. Nice. You can now place Willow Birdhouse Traps on Fossil Island. Well, that's why we're doing this grind to eventually get there. Our next, our next step is import Piscarillius, which we can do that as well. Just a fair way away. I guess we 
can head over there. All right, while we're on our way, since everything's just going so smoothly, I thought, yep, before we finish our easy clue, we're going to come here and make our level 31 crafting unlock, which is our emerald amulet. Beautiful. Now we've reached level 32. We can now craft spiked van braces and red topaz necklaces. Ah, oh, back to getting a red topaz. <laughs> no! Oh, we're saving that for later though. There's our finished emerald amulet at least. So we have that now. And we can make some spiky van braces by using the Kevit Claws on our leather van braces. There we go, spiky van braces. That's pretty good. Are they a, like best in slot melee gloves? Do they give any melee? Oh, ranged. I thought they give... Oh yeah, melee strength. There... Yep, there we go. That's got to be our best in, in slot. That's awesome. Hopefully the end of our easy clue. Charles, give us the casket. Oh, for God's sake. One more. Oh, no. Don't be a song we haven't done. Oh, we've got it. Yes. How was that one done? Oh, that was just... Oh, that was basically here. Fantastic. All right. We'll go to Falador then and finally finish this easy clue. All right. This has got to be our casket then. Cecilia loves our song. Gives us a casket. Can we get something cool? Maybe the black pickaxe from like... Earlier in the series that we never got? Come on, baby. Oh! That's actually amazing! That's actually so good! The coif! <laughs> no one's ever been excited for a coif before! That's so sick! Because now we don't have to do crafting! <laughs> to progress with ranged! <laughs> Yes! The whole reason I was doing this hunter and crafting was because at ra 20 ranged I needed a coif. <laughs> and now I would have had to go down the bloody topaz path again. At 32 crafting. Oh my god, now we don't have to do it! And it would have been hell to get the topaz as well because we're so close to an un- uh, you know. Because we're so close, we wouldn't have been able to hack much jungle at all, so we probably would have had to skip it and stuff. And now we don't even have to do the crafting! <laughs> yes! That's so sick. That is so sick. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, now we're going straight back to train range, and we've already got our coif! People probably thought I was, like, going nuts for the white firelighters. <laughs> but the coif is actually so big! Fuck yes! Alright, I thought let's train some range because I want to put on this beautiful coif, but we need 20 ranged. We have 18. And earlier on in the series when it came to Client of Karend and X marks a spot, I used the lamps on Slayer. Why did I do that? I, I honestly don't know. In the moment I was like, well, you know, it's pretty impossible to train Slayer in the exact way of this account because we can't you know, guarantee that we get crawling hands, then cave bugs, then cave crawlers. We're going to gain XP from other tasks in between. So, yeah, it, it is a bit impossible, but I could have at least tried to start from the beginning. Oh, this legend's getting one too. Oh, what a name! <laughs> and did his cat just grow up between... Did his cat just grow up in front of my eyes? Was that a kitten at the start of the clip? I'll have to check after. Look at this legend. He's got the same cloak as me. I'm on par with beers now. Oh, what a legend. Ah, oh, he's an Iron Man. No. Let's see what task we get. Crawling hands. We, we actually got it. We actually got crawling hands. So, yeah, we are literally starting from level 5. <laughs> this guy's a legend! <laughs> oh, what an absolute legend. <laughs> That's the best. Okay, and we actually got level 5. Our unlock. Wow, that's insane. Alright, here we go. My first time killing a crawling hand. Yeah, ever, I think. I didn't even bring any food, I just realised, so I'm going to have to flick this whole task. Can we get a good drop from my first ever crawling hand? Literally nothing. <laughs> oh no. Yes! Oh, two big levels! Twelve Slayer! 
I thought that was the level I was after. Well, we hit 12 Slayer. That's pretty big. Our first proper Slayer level. But here, 20 ranged. Oh, here we go. You can now wield Willow Bows. Well, hello, I have a Willow Short Bow. Oh, I just skipped the fucking... Ah! Okay, I'm literally looking at the last clip while I'm now recording this. Willow Bows, we have a Willow Longbow and a Willow Short Bow. These can hold Mithril Arrows. So we have Mithril Arrows. We can also wear Studded Armor and Coifs. However, Studded requires 20 defense, so that's unfortunate. Coifs though, the coif we got from our easy clue scroll. Here we are, baby. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, okay. And we can fire our willow shortbow with our mithril arrows at our crawling hand. Of course, we hit a zero. Oh, huge. Yeah, this one's getting shredded now. Let's swap over our mithril longbow as well, just for good measure. So I've used all of our unlocks. Oh, and we're awarded with some teal gloves for that kill. Yes! That's awesome. New gloves, but they're not as good as our spiky van braces, but they will make nice little fashion scape for us. Now the other unlock at level 20 ranged is, of course, Mithril Items Thrown. Okay, so we've hit 20 ranged. As I've just said, our new unlock the only one we haven't done now is Mithril Throne Items. This is Throne Axes, Darts, or Knives. Throne Axes, we can kill Gorax. Gorax are only available if we start the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest. We can't do this because Fairy Tale Part 1 gives us way too much XP and stuff and skips a lot of stuff. Gorax are also in the God Wars dungeon. I'll have to double check that the ones in the God Wars dungeon do drop Mithril Throne Axes. Uh, but to get there, we would have to complete Death Plateau, meaning we would go above our level 30 attack. We would almost hit level 33. Our next attack unlock isn't until uh, 40, so we technically wouldn't be skipping an unlock, so we could do Death Plateau and then partially complete Troll Stronghold in order to get to God Wars Dungeon. Getting up to that point in the quest as well would require the killing of Dad. Um, Dad, we have enough ranged XP to work with, as our next unlock isn't for a little while, but it might be a bit hard with ranged. We could take our Adamant Dagger or our Adamant Sword and poke Dad to death with that. Um, again, we're getting attack XP and we won't hit 40 from that, so maybe that's an option. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that one. Another option is getting Mithril Darts. Uh, Mithril Darts we can get from the Chaos Elemental, which with a poison weapon is possible to kill at low combats, for example, see Kruken's Combat Only series, excellent series. Um, but they had a Bone Dagger with a special attack that's guaranteed to poison. Makes it a bit easier and the kills still take like 40 minutes while hitting it um, with a main. We don't have a Bone Dagger, so we just have to use an Adamant Dagger. And it's not even the risk of getting PK'd really, it's just the risk of getting interrupted with the kill. Um, honestly, Doing those kinds of like poison manipulating methods, using other main to do stuff. We have done it in some instances on this account so far, but really it's not, I don't know. We could go dry for the Mithril Darts at Chaos Elemental. It's an easy drop, but even a single kill, depending on interruptions, deaths, whatever, could take us forever. Um, I could try it, but honestly, I'd probably rather go the Troll Stronghold route. The other route that's available, if none of these work, is the Mithril Knives. Mithril Knives are available to us. We can smith them at a whopping 57 smithing. We're currently 44. The Leagues is coming up and I plan on playing the Leagues and so I'd have plenty of time to AFK on Skill Guided and do some mining and smithing to get up to 57 smithing. So we pretty much do have a guaranteed way of hitting our level 20 ranged unlock this is just sort of time gated, would take me a little while, but I'll be playing leagues while doing it, so it's not that big a deal. And I'll provide sort of updates on that as we go. And there will be a progress video released, you know, on a typical schedule in the next couple weeks for skill guided anyway. Uh, so it's not like I'm not gonna upload till the end of leagues, don't worry about that. Don't go anywhere. The only thing about the smithing grind is that we are tactically at 44 after doing the knight's sword, because at level 45 we unlock Lovakite smelting. 
why this is at 45 and Loverkite mining is at 65 mining I will never understand but that would mean we would have to get the 65 mining to be able to mine Loverkite there's nothing really staying in our way of doing that we would have to do all the mining anyway uh, we would skip day old essence because we definitely can't do sins of the father right now tainted essence chunks skip that as well uh, but we'd also be skipping unfortunately the dragon pickaxe at 61 this is something that i definitely want to try and get on the account things like dragon axe dragon pickaxe dragon harpoon at some point but the dragon pickaxe the only really way we'd be able to get it sort of comes back to the creature I was talking about before, that is the Chaos Elemental. This is even more of a rare drop from this thing, and if we were even going on drop rate, it would take us hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, longer than the actual smithing grind would take if we skip it, and then when we sort of have stats available and the means to do so, grind out a Dragon Pickaxe from any of the bosses that drop it. Uh, so there are our three options. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm leaning towards doing the smithing route and unfortunately just skipping the dragon pickaxe for now. Um, I'm also tempted to... I'll go test out the Gorax that are in the God Wars dungeon and see... Because, yeah, we do have protection prayers and things like that. So if we can get down there and sort of cheese a uh, Mythal Thronax drop, that would be pretty cool. Uh, it would just mean that we will do Death Plateau and gain additional uh, attack XP and go beyond 30 which isn't too bad anyway so maybe we'll go down that route we'll have a little look but again thank you for watching this episode look forward to seeing you in the next one where we continue on our progress of basically catching up on our missed unlocks and eventually getting to fossil island which is hiding a lot of content from us so i'm very keen for that very keen for leagues as well. I'll be posting community updates on that. So if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, don't know what you're doing. So please subscribe to that. And I'll see you in the next one.